Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Stock Option Review for November 27th. Forgot what day it was. Uh, I'm Scott Patton, your host, and joining us is Coach Jay. We're going to be talking about whether or not there were any opportunities today to make some money trading stock options. So Coach Jay, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How are you today, Scott? I'm doing great. So could we make some money today? Yes, we can. The 27th was a pretty good day overall for some uh, opportunities. Uh, you have, you see here, I have uh, Netflix already up and kind of yeah. queued up here with a, a really good setup. You see that there is a uh, volume spike right here and it's flirting with breaking out. So for me and my process, we are uh, reaching that 945 top and it's peaking out above. And with that volume spike is enough uh, for me to uh, consider getting in. And we'll just go ahead and move forward. 955. And see where we end up. Right now we're already at 9%. And, uh, you know, it, lots of times this would be worth considering. Um, as a potential exit for some folks. Let's keep moving forward. Almost 10 o'clock. And then this is what I was looking for right here. You can notice a, another large volume spike right here. And for me in my process, and as I coach students, is uh, this is a pretty clear exit signal for me even though the market is still doing pretty well and um, you know, we've still got room to run here a little bit, but uh, we're at 14% and I see another volume spike that uh, makes me feel like it may be a last push for that trend. So I would normally go ahead and exit here. Okay. Well, 14% is nothing to sniff at in a couple of minutes. No, not at all. So there you can see in six minutes, 14%. Beautiful. And if we were to move uh, a little bit more, we can see we start meeting some resistance. And it continues to go on, but uh, it's only further proof that I got in on a good trend and, you know, 14%, life's good. I'm that's not right. concerned about waiting through uh, some of that resistance. Yeah, that's where the stress comes in. And we don't want to trade stressfully. Not at all. Uh, if you're not calm and relaxed, if things start getting stressful, then uh, you start making emotional decisions. And that's what we want to prevent from happening. Right. So was there another opportunity today? There was. Just a little bit after that. Let me pull that up here. And let's go to... Move forward a few minutes. Let's see here. All right. Similar to the Netflix is we're breaking out through uh, quite a bit of resistance and we've got a little room to run to that uh, previous high which is also um, a, a break above. So that's something we'll want to keep our eye on. And my initial uh, exit plan would be uh, that, that, new, uh, that new high. Let's see where this one goes. Move forward one more minute. If uh, we were to play this out individually um, with the replay, you can actually see I would have gotten in probably more around right here, but that doesn't really impact. We're just moving forward minute by minute. But as soon as it went green and, and peaked out from this red, it's telling me that uh, it's wanting to, to run. The market's strong. All the indicators there, everything's green and, and, and showing that there's momentum behind this to move further. Coach Jay, did, are you buying it now? I am, yes. Okay. I 
And so here we can expect some resistance, but uh, the market is just super strong. All right up here, you can see everything is, uh, is telling us that, hey, we can still uh, have some room to go. Like we've talked about before, is it's good to have your exit plan, but if there's nothing really telling you or screaming at you to get out, then you, know, you might stay in, depending on your comfort level and, and your experience. And for me, with this large candle and this volume spike, uh, it's time for me to get out. My my exit, my original exit strategy was to kind of pay attention to here, but everything was staying strong. Volume was increasing, which is a positive. And I would be looking at this blue uh, resistance point here. But after seeing the size of this volume spike compared to some other times where volume of equal or close to equal uh, strength had caused a turnaround. I'm going to go ahead and call it good for the day. Yeah, I think that's wise too. So there's 16% or 15.9%, but uh, I'll, call, I'll call that 16% now on the day and put my running shoes on or head to the beach. <laughs> right. And there you go. There's your red. Ooh. Need some more volume. It's just not really. Yeah. And on the market as a whole, it's starting to turn as well, too, yeah. with some of the other indicators. So, Do we have another trade today? We do. And I will pull that up. Give me just a second. It's, our, it's the SPY, which is... Um, one of the main indices that we pay attention to. And you can see that trade right there. I'm going to go ahead and back up. Where we're looking is this, breaking out and going right to the previous high. This is what kind of motivated that last trade that I showed you. So here we are peeking our head out of the risk zone. And we're gonna move forward, have it prove it to us. So there's kind of a lot of junk around here. You see all these lines coming through and it's decided to make its move. And the market's very strong at the, at the moment and will increasingly get stronger. Moving forward, there we go. 12% in approximately two minutes. And you're getting close to the previous high. Yep, we're getting to uh, that that zone where my exit strategy. I encourage every um, everybody that trades, but particularly the students that I have, to identify their exit strategy prior to getting in. And uh, this is where I would be looking. And with the size of that candle compared to the rest of the candles on the day, I'm calling it good. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's uh, benefits of our. <laughs> Everyone thought that was really good. <laughs> yeah, the simulator has a, a, a good way of uh, encouraging your successes and uh, helping you celebrate. It keeps track for you. So it kind of cycles over as you as your uh, trading improves and, and you hit more and more marks, it, uh, it rewards you with a little celebration. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach J. <Jay. laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so pretty awesome day. It was an awesome day. And the awesome part about it is on all three of these, you see it kind of peeking its head out of the wrist zone. Uh, I'm not afraid of uh, trading in the risk zone, but it's definitely uh, like everything else. It's an indicator, and so once we can, once you understand everything to look at and train your eye, you're able to really evaluate the totality of all these different indicators to make a a good decision on whether or not to get in a trade or not. And so today, almost all of them were coming out of the risk zone and heading to a pre-planned exit which is, uh, it doesn't get any uh, more straightforward than that. Yeah, you have a plan to get in, you have a plan to get out. 
when the plan comes together, you are able to identify it with whichever stock it was and then take advantage of that small moves. Like all of these moves today were uh, two or six minutes. So these are very short, short periods of time in which you just skim off the cream, I guess, if you're one of the people like me that remember when bottled milk was in glass and delivered by a milkman, there would always be this inch of cream on the top and before we homogenized it. And uh, that's what we want. We just want to scoop off the cream. And you did a great job of showing us that today, Coach Jay. Yes, the, the cream is, is where it all builds into filling its own milk jug full of cream. So that's right. little bits at a time and it, it'll all it all culminates in the end before you know it, you look at your count and, and be happy and, and proud of yourself for the work and discipline that you've put in. That's right. And, you know, having gains of 14, 12 and 16% makes for a pretty nice day. Yes, it does. I'm very happy with that and be able to, you know, make that happen in such a short amount of time and be able to spend the rest of the day doing meaningful stuff, whether that's with my family or personal growth or development or helping other students out. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much, Coach Jay, for sharing this with us. Do you have a coaching tip for our audience before we sign off? Be patient and make sure before you get in, you know where you'd like to get out. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks for joining us, everybody. This has been the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for November 27th, 2018. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.